cattle pen. Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I am in sunny California right now in San Diego. I wanted to take you guys along with me on our family vacation. I love California too. It is my home. It's where I was raised. But actually I started doing the math and you know I've been in Colorado more than I've been in California. So you know Colorado definitely has become my true home. But I want to show you the sunset. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit and I'll show you some more earlier. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I wanted to share it with you as I always share my sunsets with you. I am, I don't know, I'm in a mixture of a bunch of houses and apartments at an Airbnb kind of place. Um, this is the place that I'm staying in. It's about a maybe five to six minute walk from the beach, which is nice. But we've been taking Ubers most of the time. I have um, the girl's daddy with me and I have um, my two daughters with me and we met my sister and her family. So I thought I'd share some of this with you as it is a kind of an outdoorsy adventure because I can't go traveling without doing some sort of outdoorsy thing. Uh, we were able to go sea kayaking. So let me show you our sea kayaking adventure. I said I don't like boots. Yeah. 
This guy keeps talking. <laughs> Kyla and I. <laughs> Kyla's not feeling so good. The waves are really high today. It's, I need to paddle. I need to stop. Not paddling. I'm okay if I'm paddling. I'm not okay just sitting here in a boat. He's got a lot to say. My sister is feeling the same. Did she get sick? Yeah. I have a whole family full of people that get motion sickness. Oh good, we're leaving. Right away, wave. That's a wave we just rid right there. You feel that? Okay, you we gotta go at the same time. Ow, 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 ow. Cramp, cramp. Yep, we're riding that wave, riding it, riding it, riding it. We wanna paddle hard when we ride it, okay? Gotta paddle hard when we ride it. Right. Battle, battle, battle. Kyla, give me five. We did awesome. You totally surfed it in. Did you, see? Did you guys wipe out? Yeah. Did you wipe out? No. Didn't you film us? <laughs> no, they know. Did you see us? <laughs> Mine's wipe out, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really like the kayaking, but as you could see, that. I wasn't feeling so well. The, the swells were pretty big and we really wanted to go in those caves. I decided to do a tour instead of just rent some kayaks, um, but it turned out that uh, they weren't renting kayaks to individuals anyways because the waves were pretty rough that day. But I was all excited because I was able to go out um, through the waves without crashing with Kyla and me and also um, come back without crashing too. So that was a, that was a big bonus. And then I saw a store with a bear carrying a surfboard, which I thought was hilarious. And of course, I had to buy some gear there. Um, there's a bunch of kids around here, so in case it's really loud. It's, well, it's because I think the person who owns this place has this house right, right here. Let me see. And he's got a bunch of kids and stuff. So, um... Lots of fun. Let's see, we went kayaking and then after kayaking um, we walked around a bit and saw the sunset and, and did that whole whole thing of just having dinner at a nice dinner place. And then um, we went um, on a boat and we rented a boat. So let me, let me show you that. We were over in the Bay of San Diego so we had the skyline of San Diego behind us. Um, and it was just beautiful and the, the, the days were, um, or the, that day was perfect weather. But you're also going to see that we got pulled over by the, um, the, the Coast Guard pulled us over. It was just a safety check. We weren't doing anything wrong, but <laughs> the girl's daddy freaked out just a little bit, you know. It's all good though. It's all good. He's like, what did I do wrong? What did I do? And I'm like, you didn't do anything wrong. They just, they just want to check to make sure we had enough life jackets and stuff and stuff. Treasure die. I've got nothing to.
I really do like boats, I, even though I do get motion sickness. Um, when I'm driving the boat, for some reason, I don't get motion sickness. However, when I was in the kayak, I did. But that's because we were sitting a lot um, in the kayak. I like to be moving when I'm in a kayak, and the guy was talking a lot. But um, as for boats in the bay, that was awesome. And as you saw that we had Madison also take her turn at riding, uh, driving the boat too. I think it's just kind of fun to get them used to different things um, as she's learning to drive right now and just getting her used to driving different, uh, I would say vehicles, but it's not a vehicle. <laughs> it was fun though. It was a lot of fun. It was like the highlight of her day. So we brief and now we come up, we man up, start our airplanes up, we taxi them up to the catapult and there's no need for a cup of coffee. Because we're going to go from 0 to 160 in 2.5 seconds. It's fun. It really is. The daytime. In the daytime. At night it's not. But in the daytime it's fun. And so off we go and now we rendezvous overhead and on a nice day like today we will do what's called zip lip operations. In other words, we will not say a word and the ship will not, nobody will talk at all. We'll just get rendezvous overhead and then we'll go on our mission, okay? An hour and a half later, we'll come back. Now it's my job as the flight leader 
to watch that catapult. Okay, because the jet blast deflectors behind it here fouls our landing area. We can't land when somebody's on that catapult. But we're watching and they're firing off everybody. When the last guy gets on there, I put my flight into a right echelon formation, start a left turn and come around this side of the ship and down this side at 350 miles an hour at 800 feet. And when I get to the bow of the ship up here, I pass the lead to number two, roll into 90 degrees angle bank and pull. It's called a carrier brake. Okay, and I pull about five G's, meaning I go from 200 pounds to 1,000 as I'm pulling. We have a G suit that inflates to help us keep the blood up in your head so you don't uh, lose your vision coming around. And we pull, and while we're pulling, we're slowing down. And as we slow down, we get to a speed where we can safely lower the landing gear and the flaps, the devices underneath the wings that allow us to get to a good, safe speed and land on the carrier. And what we're seeking is a position of one and a quarter miles of beam of the back of the ship. That's why this ramp is painted white. So as soon as I see that turn white up there, I'll start a 30 degree angle of bank turn and that will be the start of my approach. If there are pilots in here, you're gonna say, you're gonna be right on top of the ship. The ship's moving away. The whole landing area is moving away at 30 miles an hour, okay? Funky, first time you do it, you know, but it, it works out for you. Okay, so in the daytime, the pattern is in front of the ship except for the guy who's landing and the second guy who's starting his turn over here. Okay, so, and so it was a very dangerous environment and uh, therefore younger, agile people working out here. Okay, so, a little history lesson. This ship was not in World War II. It was actually commissioned a week after the end of World War II. However, it looked like a World War II carrier in that it was a straight deck. And then after that, we hung out at the beach to kind of end our trip. And so I am going to end this with um, some beach time. And we had a wonderful time at the beach. And, um, and now we're back here. And I'm just going to share the, um, that part of the day with you. I want to thank you for joining me on this video. I know it was kind of a little different. I like changing up my videos every now and then. But, uh, but thanks for, for joining us on our little family trip. And it's really important, even if you are, in my, in my opinion, it is very important that even if you are divorced, that you are still a family unit. unit and that is something that's um we always make sure we do a family trip every year you know we go out to uh, like family dinners and, and stuff like that too we just try to keep it um our unit really strong um even though mom and dad are not together anymore it's it's something that is really important to me and it's important to him too and um you gotta put aside your anger and just and just be a family so I want to uh, thank you all for watching and I do hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.